Good morning, everybody. Hope you all are doing well out there. War Room here getting started. My name is Charles. If you're new, I'm a professional trader and trading coach here at Trade Empowered. So welcome if you're new. I appreciate you being here and joining the program. Um, got a couple things to look at today. I took a uh, I took a trade today, a short Swiss yen at 107.89s. And I got a couple other levels that I'm watching. Uh, nothing, no signals yet for me for entry, but we'll see what happens. Let's go ahead and just uh, get over to the charts here and take a look at the current trade I have on. So Swiss yen here. Uh, again, if you're new, we're using a higher time frame and a trading time frame. My higher, higher time frame here is the daily chart, and I'm using that to find relevant structure levels in the market, and then using my trading time frame to determine entries and how I get involved. Uh, with a trade. So right here, we're in clearly in a downtrend. I think everyone can see that, right? We've had a short uh, short retracement up here. Okay, so we're back into some structure here. Uh, looking left. Whoops, there you go. We've got some of that back here, right? This, this area, we retested also the single line three times. We've had a congestion area before we went higher uh, way back there uh, like a couple years ago. But anyway, we're back into that level now. So what I'm looking for, looking was looking for here on the trading time frame, which is a 60-minute chart. Uh, we had a couple things going on. First, I talked about this congestion area back here on this trading time frame. We had the double top yesterday. Yep, right. We had the double top that I was looking at here in the V. Let me turn off my chart trader. There we go. That's easier to see. So we had this, and I said, well. That's great, which is normally something I get involved with, but I'm looking here on the trading time frame and I've got some of this structure back here. So I thought, well, you know, if I put my stops above here, um, I wouldn't necessarily want to go all the way above the previous uh, structure highs. I could have better risk reward on the trade if I wait for a 2618. Now, if this had been more well defined, guys, if, if this structure level back here, was in line with the double top that had been a different story but it wasn't so i said i don't think i want to do that because we could push up and then you know maybe roll over in my favor um but and then i'd be stopped out on a losing trade so i said let's wait for 2618 instead uh, so we could have hopefully more of a confirmation that the market's going to move lower here so we had the double top we were waiting for the 2618 this white line here represents the v point of the double bot uh, double top excuse me which we broke below here on this candle Right, break below, close below of this low. Since we got now, it doesn't matter about this one. This is just a retest. What matters is the the double double top or double bottom V point is broken. It was here. We've retraced back up. I drew my Fibonacci. Uh, you may have even gotten a better fill on this if you came to it a little bit earlier than I did, um, or if you would have been about the same place as me uh, if you had just limit orders uh, waiting for that to happen. Uh, which I did not, since I'm not doing that overnight while I'm sleeping. I, pr I prefer not to do that. So. Going to try and take trades here in the morning hours, uh, even though they're a swing style of trade. Um, and then, you know, not have to deal with things in the afternoon or overnight, um, unless I'm in the trade. That's different, but I'm not trying to enter anything. That may change, but for now, that's what I'm doing. And uh, so we got involved. We got involved right there. I put it out 107.89 stops above the uh, double top highs. Now, again, we're within that structure area, but we've had the uh, lower, low, lower close in the 26.18 play. Um, so that way it's giving me a little more confirmation that we're going to move lower. I feel better about my risk reward on the trade as well as where I'm putting my stop loss, which is at uh, 108.37s. Targets go at the lowest close of the retracement point. I got those at 107.39s. So we'll see if we can get down there. We got about, uh, it's definitely a one-to-one -one or so. Uh, about 50 pips, I think, is what we're looking at here for this trade. So hopefully that'll uh, play out. That'd be great. Um, if you're looking for extended targets, which we do not do here in the syndicate guys, whether it's keel posting patterns or whether it's me doing some structure trading, we're doing one target just to make it simple. Now, again, we've probably said this and you've heard us say it a hundred times if you've been here for any length of time is that it's better in most cases to do a second target. Now you wanna test it, but on the 2618, we need to take our Fibonacci extension from the highest point or lowest point of the uh, double top, double bottom area, go to the retracement point and then back up. What we're looking for there is a 127 extension that would give you your second target so first targets are at the uh, retracement structure level which is here and then the second targets would be at the 127 extension that i just drew okay if you haven't watched it yet uh, you definitely want to do this 
go to it right here and bring it over right here. Syndicate dashboard, the website, right? Training course, bonus training into the grade 2618. Watch these. If you have not watched them or if you're new, didn't know they were there. They are for free on our website, but you gotta like sign up to, you know, with your email in order to get them. Here, they're just there for you. So if you haven't watched them yet, make sure you do go ahead and do that. So you have a better understanding of the price chart and so you understand the 2618 trade.